In Activity 7, Earth, a giant magnet, students first discover that the Earth itself is a giant magnet and then observe the influence of the Earth's magnetic poles on a magnet. You will need the following materials from the kit. Foam ball, metal bolt, magnet rods, marker, and 1.25 meters of string. You will also need to provide scissors and a clothesline. To prepare for the activity, locate places in the classroom where each team of students can hang a magnet so that it can turn freely. Suggested locations include the tops of door frames or window frames. If no options are available, a clothesline strung high and tight across the classroom works well. Next, prepare the Earth model. To represent the geographic north and south poles of the Earth, use the marker to put two spots directly opposite one another on the foam ball. For the Earth's axis, push the metal bolt almost halfway into the ball at the geographic south pole. Then push the rod magnet three quarters of the way through the ball, starting near, but not on, the geographic north pole, and at a slight angle to the north and south poles. The rod magnet will represent the magnetic north and magnetic south poles of Earth. Remove the rod magnet from the ball and put these materials where the students will not see them just yet. Use scissors to cut each of the four pieces of string in half. Each team of four students will need a piece of string approximately 60 centimeters long and a rod magnet. To begin the activity, divide the students into teams of four and distribute one rod magnet and a 60 centimeter length of string to each team. Instruct students to tie the string securely around the middle of the rod magnet. Help each team find a place to hang their magnet where it can swing freely away from metal objects such as filing cabinets, metal desks or chair legs, and other magnets. After they have suspended their magnets, and while the magnets are swinging, ask students, what do you think are the chances that, when the magnets stop moving, they will all point in the same direction? Give students a minute or two to discuss this. Most students will think that it is not likely that their magnets will all point in the same direction. Next, have one member of each team stand next to his or her magnet, and using both hands, point in the same directions in which the ends of the magnet are pointing. Ask students, are the magnets all pointing in the same direction? Students will be surprised to see that their classmates and the magnets are all pointing in the same direction. Then challenge the teams by asking, what do you think could be causing the magnets to point in the same direction? Students will probably suggest that the magnets are pointing toward an object that attracts them. Explain that the Earth acts like a giant magnet and that the students' magnets are responding to the Earth's magnetic field, lining up along the field lines and pointing to the magnetic north pole and magnetic south pole. Show the class the Earth model and explain that Earth spins on an axis, represented by the bolt through the ball, and that the ends of the axis are known as Earth's geographic north pole and geographic south pole. Now show the class the rod magnet and insert it into the hole you made. Explain that over time, the location of the magnetic north and south pole shifts and that today it is not in the same place as the geographic north and south poles. At the present time, the magnetic north pole is located about 1,600 kilometers from the geographic north pole, just off the coast of Canada. The magnetic south pole is also about 1,600 kilometers from the geographic south pole, just off the Ross Ice Shelf in Antarctica. The magnetic poles are currently moving at an average of 10 to 40 kilometers per year. Summarize the discussion by asking students Based on what you have learned about magnets, what can you say about the magnetic properties of Earth? Students will deduce that the Earth has the ability to pull or push other magnets and that the greatest magnetic force is at the magnetic north and south poles. To conclude the activity, you may wish to leave some of the hanging magnets in place until the next activity has been completed. Return the rest of the rod magnets, the Earth model, marker, and string to the kit. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.